It was 30 years ago that the Texas Parks and Wildlife television series, originally known as Made in Texas, got its start. To celebrate this milestone, we're taking a look back at some of the interesting stories and unique characters that we've discovered over the past three decades. For the very first story on the very first show, we took a ride on the Texas State Railroad. The state prison system using convict labor began building the Texas State Railroad back in the late 1800s to serve an iron furnace and other industries near Rusk in East Texas. After hard times brought the closing of the furnace, the line saw about 50 years of irregular service and fell into disrepair. 1972, when the bulk of the Texas State Railroad was conveyed to the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department, convict labor again played an important role in rebuilding the 25 miles of track creating an historic park dedicated to the preservation of steam locomotives and railroading's golden age. This is engine number 500 here on the State Railroad. We acquired the engine from the city of San Angelo from the museum they had there back in 1980. A little over a year in rebuilding, we uh, started operating the locomotive in 1981, uh, put it into regular operation in early 82. Now this locomotive here weighs 138 tons. The tender back behind weighs an additional 100 tons when it's full of fuel and water. So you're looking at a pretty good sized locomotive for this line. It was the first locomotive that we completely rebuilt ourselves. Uh, other locomotives we had contracted out to outside firms, but we're rather proud of this one. We were able to do all the work ourselves on this one. Engine 500 is just one of the completely restored steam locomotives you'll find in operation at the park. Each scheduled run has a train leaving from each of the Victorian-style depots at Palestine and Rusk for a three-hour round trip through the piney woods of East Texas. Passengers who arrive early can walk through the cab of the engine and take a closer look at a thundering giant from our past. Now it's time to find a seat, listen for the whistle, and take a trip back in time. With the faithful, eloquent voice of the engine as the fuel of imagination, you can see the reality of space-age technology take a back seat to images of an era long since past when the railroad was keen. It's a unique adventure for young and old alike 
creating a wealth of new experience for some and bringing back special memories for others. When I used to read a story, especially when it was going, I think I can, I think I can, a while ago. <laughs> Stories for the children. And I did ride the train when I was real young. I'm really enjoying it. To me, when I was a kid, go from Fort Worth to visit uh, my dad's people up in Cumberland, Tennessee. And we had to spend two nights on the train to get up there. <laughs> That's a long time. <laughs> About as fast as this. <laughs> he liked going through the engine. I think he kind of backed up from the steam, though. I like antiques, so this just brings me right back to what I like. The Texas State Railroad is one of the state's most popular historic sites, and right now reservations are recommended for a guaranteed seat. For timetables, reservations, tickets, and more information, you can contact either the Rusk or Palestine Depot directly.